hey, come on in. You, get in here. Let's get started. We are about to talk about, I'm about to talk about Google's new free product. It is a free website for specifically for businesses and small businesses. Uh, we're about to talk about some of the pros and cons, Google My Business, some alternatives. We're going to jump into all that. Uh, but so the Google came out, you might be saying, Blake, Google already has a free website. And you'd be right, they do. Uh, but this is a new product that came out two months ago. They got rid of that old product. The old product was a free website for only a year, and then you'd have to pay for it after that. And it was actually not theirs. They partnered with a third party to set it up. So this is their own uh, website on their own platform. It is uh, free indefinitely at this point, and it's uh, super simple to set up, and we're going to get into some of the pros and cons of that. So how I discovered... Uh, about this new website. I had a client come in a couple months or a couple weeks ago and he hired a web designer to create his website. Uh, it was a budget, more of a budget website. He was you know, starting his business on the side, on the weekends, in addition to his full-time job. So he wanted to start lean with this business. So he went um, pretty budget. I'm thinking, I think he hired somebody for a few hundred dollars. Well, often that I hear some of these stories quite a bit that it just didn't work out. So uh, their vision was wrong. This, this certain web designer or marketer was also trying to sell him some upsells with social media, SEO, reputation management. So the relationship went sour and he lost some money on it, but he had to get out of there because he wasn't happy what was going on. So he came in to speak with me and he actually told me and introduced me to the uh, Google free website and when he showed it to me I was really impressed. I was actually pretty surprised on the quality of it uh, overall and that's why we're talking about it today. So before we get into some of these nuts and bolts I'm going to do a quick plug for the SVDC. If you want to, so my name is Blake Stockton and I work for the SVDC at UNF and if you want to talk about any of these topics we're going to talk about Google My Business, this new Google website, more strategically for your business I'd be happy to chat with you and you can call our front desk at 904-620-2476. Again, uh, my name is Blake. Getting back on this uh, free website. So who would this website be for? Because it is free, so maybe you're thinking that there's some limited features, which there are. It's definitely not for every type of business. I wouldn't uh, you know, drop the website you have to, to go run to this. But this is a website for somebody who's just starting out who want something very lean, uh, very affordable, obviously. Uh, this is for somebody who maybe already has a business and you have a Facebook page and you're not uh, ready to invest in a website yet so you can claim this free website. Um, or this is really somebody who, I'd say if you have a tech skill of two out of 10 or below, then this is a good option for you because there are some other free options which we're going to discuss at the end but there takes there takes a little bit of tech skills to at least navigate these web builders these drag and drop web builders like Wix, Squarespace, uh, Yola is another one I'll mention later on uh, there's some learning curve so if that is something you're not interested in then uh, the Google My Business is very easy to use and set up so the Google website is tied to something called your Google My Business. And the Google My Business listing is your free listing that all small business owners get on Google.com. It is when someone types in your business's name, it's that square box that pops up on the right of the screen. So if you don't know if you have that, or Google may have created it for you without you knowing actually, uh, if there's some information about your business, if people are searching for your business, they'll create it for you. And if you want to know if that's out there, you can go to google.com slash business and search for your business's name and location, see if it's out there already. Uh, I'm talking a lot, a lot about Google My Business because there's a lot of opportunity there for people searching for your business to learn about your uh, hours, your uh, reviews about your business, your location, you can now make posts on your Google My Business listing to discuss about interesting new things going on with your business. Uh, they also are experimenting with the messaging and chat function. 
so people can start messaging you and your business before they ever even reach your website. A lot of innovation going on there right now. Uh, maybe I'll talk about it in a future Facebook Live video. Uh, but go ahead and see if you have that because what you do is once you have this, you can then create this free website uh, on that dashboard for your business. So let's jump into some of these pros and cons. First pro is it's free. We already kind of discussed that, but it's a free option for somebody who might not have those tech skills to, to set up uh, a website themselves. It's super simple. I mean, they, they Google's really made it easy for you to set up. When you fill out that Google My Business listing, it pulls a lot of that information, your hours, your address, your um, title of your business, and uploads it already into this uh, website builder for you. And I think it does some of the pictures as well. So it's super simple. And I've you, if you have the pictures already for your business, if you have the content, the text, you can literally set it up in about 10 minutes and go live and get online. Um, it's also something you can do on your phone or tablet. You don't have to have a computer. So let's say you're trying to change things on the fly, maybe add more pictures. You can do it all from your phone. It's pretty accessible for um, anyone really in the world. So domain name is something that uh, is a little tricky, but if you don't have a domain name yet for your website, you can buy one through Google. They make it really easy after you design your website. They ask you if you want to buy a domain, which is your www dot, you know, whatever your business is, www whatever dot com. That's your domain name for your business if that's a new uh, uh, term for you. You can buy that within Google. Or if you already have one and your website is really old or you're, you know, I've seen a couple clients recently where their website has been five, six years old, really out of date. Uh, you can create your new website on this Google uh, website, but then you can redirect your domain name to the new website. A little bit of a technical aspect there, but uh, I might be able to work with you to, to figure that out and get that set up. So really easy to set up that .com for your, for your website too. You don't have to create a new domain name. The other big thing, which is a problem with these old websites that are four or five years old, is that they are not mobile responsive. And when someone is looking at your website on, your, on their phone, they, you don't want them to pinch in. You want it to automatically resize. And all those older websites, they're, you gotta pinch in to read the website. And now people are getting a little bit more uh, fickle with how they search for these things. So you want it to be really uh, user friendly. You don't want them to have to pinch to read stuff on your website. And Google is also penalizing you on mobile search if your website is not mobile friendly. So you could drop in the search rankings as well. So that is another pro. Couple cons here, because we're talking about positive stuff, but there's also some issues here. You know, if it's free, it's not gonna be perfect. It's only one page is the main con. You're not gonna have a multiple page website. It's gonna be one page of all your information. That uh, is not best for SEO, and SEO is search engine optimization, which is ranking higher in Google. Not the best setup, but it's not gonna, for a free website just to get 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 you a some kind of a presence online, it's not a, a deal breaker. So that's one con. Another con is that because it's so easy, they don't give you a lot of customization options. You have to work within your template. They have some customizations, but and it looks pretty well. You'll probably find something that'll work for you, but there are some limitations to that. Uh, another couple of other things that are common on websites now that this website is lacking is no show, social, social share buttons for the website. So if someone visits your site and wants to share it on, say, Facebook or Instagram, they cannot, uh, say Instagram, uh, Twitter is more likely, then they cannot share it. It's not built in. There's no analytics there. You can't connect your Google Analytics to learn more about how long people are spending on your website and some other informa demographic information as well. Uh, so that's a big uh, con there. And then also there aren't some SEO functions where you can, most website builders and anything with WordPress, you can designate what you want to see in Google. 
but for this website you cannot and that's kind of some search engine optimization stuff there uh, so you cannot do that so those are some cons but overall it's still a good option if you're just starting out and trying to be as lean as possible a couple other free options web.com is still out there you know they're a free option one of the cons to that is, that I've heard from some other clients is they do you know they're a business so they're trying to make money just like you so they will follow up with some of their follow-up services if you want to you know other than that really basic website they will you know you'll get charged for anything you know outside of that um, social they'll be pitching you some social media some SEO some online advertising services so that kind of comes with the, the, the process but you can get someone to, to, there to help you set up that website and a new option that I'm exploring more of, I haven't dealt with this, but it actually looks pretty good, and I've read some good things, is Yola.com. And that is a website builder specifically for businesses and small businesses. And they have a free option for you to just get started. And it's not a free trial, it's a free option. It's limited, of course, but it's a great way to get started. I think it stops it at three pages. Again, if you're under that two out of 10 tech score or uh, tech skill score, a range or lower this might be a little bit harder for you to set up but if you're looking to learn and you want to spend some time learning about website builders this is a good option good free option to get started all right so that wraps up our this Google free website here live video if you again if you want to talk with me more strategically about your business and your website I'd be happy to sit down and chat with you my name is Blake Stockton consultant here and Call our front desk, 904-620-2476. We are located here, uh, I'm in my office right now at UNF, and uh, I'd help, we'd love to help you do what we do, which is help small business owners uh, grow and succeed.